Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today in the Hisui Cup. So we're taking a look at uh, a powerful team. We have Toxicroak with the Bomb Snow and Drapion. So this team would lose to like the Driftblim or Forces double fighting team, which is what I've been having success with. But, you know, that doesn't mean that it's not a powerful team. Uh, I don't see that team too often, the double fighter team, to be honest, even though I've been using it with success. I think I've only battled it once so far in the Hisui Cup, but it's a powerful team. Either way, uh, let's go ahead and see how these battles play out. Of course, Drapion into this Cresselia is a good matchup for the Drapion. Grass Knot is going to be resisted, not going to do much. Uh, maybe the opponent was baiting, not really sure. Let's see what they decide to go for now. Moonblast is neutral. Uh, they are going for another Grass Knot. Could be single moved. It is a possibility on that Cresselia because this is a lower elo, so something like that is possible. It's also possible they have Grass Knot in Future Sight, but you definitely do want Moonblast in this meta, in my opinion. Uh, we're going to see a Toxic Crow come in from the opponent, so we're going to see a Crunch right now, which is resisted, but still going to be able to pick up the shield. They're going to be able to throw a Mud Bomb, which will KO this Drapion, which is totally fine. Uh, so Drapion did what it had to do. Uh, so you gotta bring in your own Toxicroak. Um, so that's exactly what's going to happen. Trying to get to a Mud Bomb, desperately trying to get there. Oh, they make an attempted catch on the Dusk Nor. So in comes the Obama Snow. So Dusk Nor, Shadow Dusk Nor, not a Pokemon you see every day, but it's so really cool. Still really cool to see. Uh, so you can just pretty much double up on the Weather Balls right now. Throw one Weather Ball. Uh, see if this gets the shield, which it does. Uh, another Weather Ball, able to get to it. This is going to definitely leave a dent in that Dusk Noir. Uh, getting it very, very low, which is nice. You love to see it. Yeah, just let it go. Uh, you don't really need this Obama Snow, nor do you want it anymore. As long as they don't boost, um, you should be good to go. Able to count it down, a Ghost type. You have loaded energy. They have an attack, but Toxic Rogue still has two shields, so it's going to be able to shield up this Mud Bomb. And it's going to be able to take the win here. But Dust Noir, very cool to see. Shout out to the opponent for that. So that is another ghost type you could run. Of course, the best ghost types being the Drift Bloom, being the Frost Last, right? But Dust Noir is another ghost type. Uh, but anyway, picking up a really bad lead, going to switch into Drapion. Uh, they're going to go ahead and switch into Toxic Croak. So this is really bad. Might be hard countered, but we'll see. We're going to see this crunch come in. Unfortunately, no Aqua Tail on this Drapion, but that's okay. We actually still see a shield, though, which is really nice. And the defense drop, which is really good. So, at least you pick up a shield. Going to be able to go for another crunch. They actually double shield. Okay. Very interesting that they would double shield that. Uh, because Toxic Rogue does resist crunch. Uh, but that's fine. Able to get both shields there. Able to bring in your own Toxic Rogue. Uh, they do get to one. So we're going to go ahead and shield this because this would do a lot to the Toxic Probe, perhaps even KO it. Uh, so very nice going to, oh, we could have overfarmed a little bit more, but again, this is a lower elo, so it's totally fine. It's not really a big deal, just having fun battles, right? Uh, so the Bang, okay, they bring in Hasui and Electrode. So this is a good matchup for the Obama Snow because the additional super effective damage, they are out of shields. Uh, so, almost KOing it, gotta go ahead and shield this, probably gonna be a wild charge, yep, definitely gonna be a wild charge. Uh, so gonna be able to, uh, get rid of that, in comes the Bangzang. The problem here is that you have no shields, and, hmm, yeah, okay, gonna go ahead and go for the web ball. So, you have no shields, plus they are resisting the moves, right, so that is, uh, a problem there. So trying to get to this energy ball, able to get to it, very nice. So, maybe the Toxicroak can count it down after this damage. Uh, that's what they're going for. Oh, they do get to a Psyshock. So this Psyshock is going to KO, but can you Powder Snow down? Oh my gosh, how low is the Obama Snow? Oh my gosh, it's one confu- Oh my gosh, look how close that game was. Okay, well played. Not going to be able to win that one, but that is okay. We're moving on to the next battle. Toxicroak into Gastrodon. This is not good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch into a Bomb of Snow. Uh, they're going to go ahead and bring in a Cherim. Okay, so of course the Weather Ball is a threat, right? Weather Ball is double super effective towards the Obama Snow, so you do have to shield this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw a Weather Ball. Let's see if they decide to shield or if they let this go. Uh, they do shield, which is actually unfortunate. You kind of want them to let it go, but let's see if they shield this one. They're probably, they probably will. They want to get off another Weather Ball. No, they let that go. Still doesn't KO, and they still get to a Weather Ball. That is not great. Uh, so Bumso is going to go ahead and give up a shield here. But that the problem is that Gastrodon is going to be uh, really difficult to deal with, right? 
so because you have two things that are weak to ground, uh, Toxic Croak as well as Drapion in the back. So we do see a shield there. In comes your own Drapion, very nice. They're going to bring in uh, Gastrodon, so we're going to go ahead and go for the crunch. Uh, this is going to... Uh, well, it's going to connect because the shields are down, but uh, it's not, another one is not going to KO. There was no debuff there, so we're going to see another one come out right now. Uh, so this is going to connect the defense drop there, very nice. So you do get the Gastrodon low, which is good. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and go for an Earth Power. This is going to KO. Uh, Obama's still going to be able to farm down, very nice. They do have an attack, but not before this uh, Weather Ball comes out. So uh, this Weather Ball is going to connect. Uh, they are continuing to over farm. They have a lot of energy, so they're going to throw the attack. Will a crunch be enough to KO? It's a sludge bomb, they have sludge bomb, that obviously is enough. Toxic Croak coming in. I think this is a win, right? I think Toxic Croak could just win this because he could take a sludge bomb, it could take a crunch, a sludge bomb and a crunch. So you're able to count it down and able to take that one. So that is going to be a great game. Very well played to both trainers. We're moving on, Toxic Croak into Hisuian Electrode, a Pokemon I really like for this meta. Um, this is fine. I'm going to go ahead and go straight Mud Bomb. Mud Bomb is neutral. Whereas Sludge Bomb is super effective, but uh, the Mud Bomb is still enough to pick up a shield. In comes Drapion. Uh, they're going to go ahead and throw an attack. It's probably a Wild Charge. They might Wild Charge and leave. Uh, it is a Wild Charge. Uh, they're still staying in, so we're able to get off this Crunch very nice. So at least they're staying in. That's good. Uh, so let's see. This Crunch will get the shield. They're going to be able to go for an attack. This is going to be another Wild Charge. Just going to let it go. Um, it's not going to be enough to KO though, it still does a lot. In comes Toxic Croak, I'm surprised they didn't bring in Toxic Croak immediately. Uh, but that's okay, we're going to see this uh, Crunch come out. And, yeah, I mean, you can't bring in the Obama Snow, so you have to bring in your own Toxic Croak. And you have to get to a Mud Bomb. They will reach a Mud Bomb first, so basically shield, and then you can get to your Mud Bomb. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do just that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and throw the Mud Bomb right now. This Mud Bomb is going to KO the opposing Toxic Croak, which is good. Uh, so Toxic Croak does go down. Uh, in comes the Electro. King counter down. Oh, able to catch the Wild Charge on Obama Snow. This is resisted. That was a great catch. Uh, still does a lot, but great catch. In comes a Bash you die. This is actually not great, because the thing is, they're going to be able to farm down and get to a move against Toxic Croak, I think. But we're going to see an Energy Ball come out. Um, they are going to farm down. You need to get to a Mud Bomb. Almost there. Yeah, they do have the attack. Yeah, they, I, I knew they were going to be able to farm down when the Bash Udon came in. So really unfortunate. They actually throw that Stone Edge, though. They don't throw a Flamethrower, but it doesn't matter. That's still going to be a win there. Uh, so we're moving on to the final game of the video. Toxic Cloak into Gallade. This is really bad. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and leave into this Drapion. I do struggle with Gallade myself, I'm not going to lie. In comes Bash Udon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for this Crunch. This crunch is going to connect. I mean, I imagine they don't shield. They don't have to shield Bash Udon. If you're a Bash Udon trainer, you know you don't have to shield. At least not now. Um, you know, maybe at some point you might want to shield this. We'll see. They're going to go ahead and throw an attack. Uh, do you let this one go? Yep, just going to let it go. Uh, it actually doesn't KO. Oh, barely can't get off that crunch, but you could bring in Toxic Croak. Two, three, four. Yeah, able to farm down. Very nice. Uh, so in comes Gallade though, which is not very nice, but uh, uh, we're going to see a Mud Bomb come out right now. This Mud Bomb is going to get the shield, and now they switch into a Bomb Snow. They're going to switch into Drapion, ouch. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go for this Weather Ball right now. So this Weather Ball is going to connect, very nice. I'm trying to get to one more. Able to get it off, they're over farming. So this is going to, This could. they could let this go. Uh, they are going to go ahead and shield it though. Uh, so, you still have two shields. The Obama Snow is going to go ahead and shield this. Uh, no defense drop, which is good. They're going to go ahead and throw an attack, so we do see an, a shield from the Obama Snow. Uh, going to be a crunch. And able to get to it, but continuing to over farm. Okay, still able to get it off. Very nice. So, this is going to KO. We do see an undercharge, but I still think it KOs. Oh, yeah, definitely KOs. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and catch the move on Toxic Croak. Oh my gosh, is it close combat? It is a close combat. What a catch, and now you can get to a weather ball. This definitely KOs, that was a great play. This is gonna KO because the opponent is debuffed, and that is gonna be a great game, very well played. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, have a good day, bye.